So as I was wrapping up the Deadpool spatula for shipment, it got me thinking, what's the best thing about bubble wrap? What if you couldn't do that? <laughs> So I started off with large bubble wrap, and I thought this was really cool looking. They're really big bubbles, and they're really, you really just want to... It's such a satisfying feeling. I cast it, and I actually had a pretty major mold malfunction here. I don't know what happened, it just stuck to the casting. But the more I look at it, the more I think, I'm not sure I like the big bubbles, because if you're gonna make drink coasters, you're only gonna see like one, maybe two per, per coaster. What I've decided to do instead is go for smaller, more uniform bubbles. Maybe four coasters out of there, and they'll each have a lot of bubbles in them. And I'm gonna start by just mixing up a small amount. I'm just gonna do two ounces, one ounce of each, resin and hardener. All right, we'll just make sure it's thoroughly mixed, and then we can pour it in. All we're doing is forming a base for our project. I'll wait for that to harden up, and then we'll pour the next, and honestly, the final layer. All right, so it's tomorrow. Well, it's today for me, but it's tomorrow for you. It's moving fast. Time is moving quickly in this video. This has cured mostly. It's still a little tacky, but that's not a surprise. It's, it's really been wet here uh, and kind of cold, so it takes a little longer to cure. So, so I'm gonna mix up try. six ounces of resin which should be more than enough to cover this. My mold is 12 by 12 by one. So it's a pretty good size. But considering how much I've been using in the past for my past projects, I'm thrilled to just have an eight ounce resin project. And that's really what dippets were supposed to be. They were supposed to be simple projects. So I kind of let them get out of hand, and uh, it made them longer between videos. So hopefully by doing some more of these simple dippets, I can kind of get through this list here and still make interesting projects that maybe aren't quite as involved. Be very careful here with my propane torch, because I don't want to melt the plastic, <laughs> obviously. That would be bad. So I'm just gonna go try to be really, really careful. Got a really low setting, trying to keep it high above casting. Just wanna try to pop those surface bubbles. And now I have to wait like 24 hours for this to finish curing, but you've only gotta wait a couple seconds. See you in a couple seconds. All nice and hardened up, so it looks pretty good. All right, here it is out of the mold. <laughs> totally cool looking. It's actually a good thickness too. It's not too thick. So using a sample coaster here as my guide, I can get a good idea of what size I want to make these. And I have more than enough room here to get four coasters. So once that's done, I can take my template and use it to completely trace around each one of these. Now we'll just go over to the sander, clean up the edges. So something unexpected just happened. While I was sanding this, the sides heated up. And since the bottom layer was so thin, the bubble wrap actually came out. And what we're left with is this negative mold. And so these are actually holes in here, but it looks just like bubble wrap. Yeah, it's kind of happening to all of them. The bottom level of resin was just too thin. And so the bubble wrap and resin is just coming off. So good note there, if you want to make these you should probably make that bottom layer a little thicker, or not, because honestly, 
That's a pretty cool look, and it's got a great texture on this side. On to the last one. So my bubble wrap experiment went a little differently than I expected, but I think they turned out really cool, and I love this texture now of all these voids in here. And I suppose it's a better coaster, inverted, because all the condensation would actually drip down into the holes. I like the way these came out, and I like this project too because it's actually a really simple project. You don't need to go through the process that I went through. A lot of times I do things because I have the tools to do them. But you can buy coaster molds and then just get the resin and the, the bubble wrap and make your own coasters. And you can use bubble wrap or whatever other material you want to cast. And they're fun and they don't take up a lot of resin. Uh, I'll put the information for that down in the description. So there's another dip it done. If you like these, please like it and share it. That actually helps me out a lot. And I'll keep trying to make them. Alright, I will catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.